Okay, I'm going to explain the where clause inside SQL. I'm going to use the equal sign, the not bigger than, smaller than, and operator um, or is null and the between. Okay, the database I'm using is the CD database so with the CD table. This is the fields I'm using. Okay, so when I click on this button, I want to add the where clause to my SQL. So the where will be after the from. So it's where, let's make it where genre. Check where the genre is equal to rock. Equals to rock. Uh, that rock field is a text field inside my table. Rock the genre is a text field, so I need to put the rock in double quotation marks. Okay, so now it will not display all the content of my CD table. It will only display the rock music inside my table. Okay, so since my CD table is already opened, so I will not be able to access it inside my Delphi. So I need to close this. Okay, so genre is equal to rock. Let's try again. Okay, so you will see that it only displays the rock music. Next one I'm going to do is the not. Okay, there's two ways to do this one. I'm just going to copy and paste. So I'm going to say where genre is not rock so now it will display all the genres that's not rock okay so it will display pop jazz alternative rock punk pop heavy metal all that everything except the rock music another method that you can use the not is Just want to call me that one out for now. You can write it like this. You can say where not genre rock. Not genre equals to rock. Okay, both methods will work display all the genres that's not rock next one the bigger than or smaller than I think this may be a currency or a number value of field here yes it's the replacement value let's use that one I'm gonna copy and paste this whole query again just to save some time so I'm going to say, remove this, and say where the replacement value. And it's important that you spell this field correctly, because if you misspell it, it's not going to work. Where the replacement value is bigger than 100. The replacement value is not a text field, so we don't need to put the 100 in double quotation marks. Okay, so we'll only display the series where the replacement value is bigger than 100. Okay, next one is the AND. Now we need to add two conditions. So where the replacement value is bigger than 100 and the genre must be equals to 
rock. Okay, so both conditions need to be true. The replacement value must be bigger than 100 and the genre must be rock. Then it will display the information in the DB grid. Okay, so it must be rock, yes, and the replacement value must be bigger than 100. Okay. If you want to display, let's say, pop and rock music, you'll have to write genre is equals to pop and genre is equals to rock. Next one. Is the or very similar to the and so I'm just going to change this to all so now the replacement value can be bigger than 100 or the genre can be rock then it will display that record so only one of the two needs to be true for it to display in our DB grid Okay, so you will see that there might be some pop and hard rock in there because the other condition was met. The one where the replacement value is bigger than 100. Next one is, is null. Okay, is null means that not when the value is actually zero. But when there's no, uh, basically nothing entered in that field. So I'm not sure whether we have an empty one here. So let's say is null. Then we can check whether there's actually a field, okay, but we need to specify the field that we want to check. So we're going to say where let's say where genre is null that means that no genre was entered for that field for that record not when it's zero when there's nothing entered okay so there's no empty records there let's change it is not null okay now we're going to check for all the records where the genre is not null that means that there was something entered okay so it will display those for us okay the last one is the between operator it's quite handy to use a between operator let's use the replacement value again here where the replacement value between between 100 and 120 remember you can also use the between to go to check for between a to d or using characters as well it will be able to do that but in this case i'm going to use the replacement value which is a number or currency field so i don't need to put the 100 and the 120 in double quotation marks.